Good morning guys you might notice in the background I'm not at home over here we have a honey bunch eating breakfast and a Zuri so last evening um, we decided to take a short notice trip to Nakuru a Mennonite choir is having a program and so we didn't want to have like an early morning drive so we started off last night and drove to Nakuru and as you can hear maybe by my voice, I'm struggling with a flu or a cold or a sniffles. Corey's saying jet lag. I don't think it's that. But um, I just didn't feel like vlogging last night and it was kind of dark. So I just decided I'll start my vlog here this morning. So let me show you my breakfast. So here they have a lovely um, package for us and they included this granola. I have some peppermint tea here and yogurt. And honey, what are you eating for breakfast? Oh, pizza. There's a, there's a leftover pizza. Uh huh. From last night. Yes. And I'm having coffee. Nice. Yeah. And Zuri is having hot food. Zuri is very confused, by the way, where to use the bathroom. So there was a big carpet here and a big carpet here that she peed on. So. I'm washing those right now. So, honey, what are we what are we doing in Nakuru? Can you tell the people? Um, we've come to attend uh, CBYC. Yes. That's all I know. CBYC. It's actually, the last <laughs> this is their last day. Yes. Here. Of a ten day Bible school. So let me break it down for you guys. There's the Amish Mennonite mission that my family came with. That's how I met him that is in Kisumu, and they have churches all over Kisumu, Amish uh, Mennonite churches. Then the same mission has a second branch here in Nakuru, another Amish Mennonite church um, or mission compound, and each family goes to a different church here in Nakuru. So they have a lot of churches here in Nakuru as well. So once a year, all the youth that are not yet married, like single youth people from all the Nakuru churches, and the youth from the Kisumu churches all gather here in Nakuru. You have all different tribes, Kikuyus, Luos. Um, they all come here together as part of these two Mennonite, Amish Mennonite missions. And they have 10 days of Bible school where African and American pastors will teach them for 10 days. And then the last day, their families can come and friends, yes, which is today. And they will be presenting a program, a choir, um, with all the songs that they've learned over these past 10 days. So we came here for the program to hear them sing. They sing a cappella. Um, so I'm just gonna bring you guys along today. I'm not sure what today holds, but come along and experience the Amish Mennonites that live here in Kenya. I love you, I give you everything you want me to Think about it, if I could I'd burn down the moon and give that to we're on our way now it's about a 20 15 or 20 minute drive from where we were to where we're going to
we are here we just arrived Corey is eating some yogurt and granola so yeah, let's go see the program <laughs> Yeah, we're one now, take a seat, 
So guys, the program is over and we just met two of our subscribers. Yeah, Imagine they're from Belize. Belize. Oh, Belize and yeah, they're from Belize and they met us here. They had no idea we were going to be here, so that was fun. Pamela, how are you? I'm good. How do you find Nakuru? Hi, ah, it's very nice. Yes, yes very cool. No, it. it is very cold. Yeah, I, me, I don't like cold. Yeah, it's very cold here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. What can you say? Yeah, I'm so I'm so glad. I'm so happy to be here in Nagoro. Like uh, the way Pamela has said, wow, we were freezing last night, but at least I'm enjoying the sun. I'm actually marinating myself. Uh, right now, I'm enjoying the in sun. In the sun, you're yeah. marinating in the sun. Yeah, the sun is so good. I wish the daughters could be also here. <laughs> <laughs> the whole package. Well, people, we had some lunch there. Um, I just realized right now I didn't get any video of that. But they had rice, sweet potatoes, and lentils. So now we just got back home. I think we're going to take a little nap. Um, I don't know what's going to happen this evening, but... I'll try to get more video. Right now I have these fresh grapes. They're so yummy. Anyway, I think we're just gonna take it easy and see what the afternoon and evening holds. So stay tuned. So guys, I just woke up. I slept probably two or three hours. Like I mentioned earlier, I haven't been feeling the best. I was having cold and cough and like, sign us something so i just slept the afternoon away and if you look it's like a rainy dreary and it's cold here in nakuru ay 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 it is so cold us people that are used to the heat of kisumu are freezing it's really cold um but yeah we've just been napping Corey is still here napping um, but yeah, we're just taking it easy and our host family here, Luke and Jamila Kurtz, I think I put a picture of their family on one of our other videos. She's originally a Jamaican and he's an American and they have a really amazing family. Um, they host us here at their guest house when we come here and so um, she just texted and said that they're going to have some beef stew tonight and we're welcome to come over so... Yeah, I'll video something for you guys. Zuri, hey, say hi guys. I'm very confused where to use the bathroom. I think guys, we need to bring another piece of the green, fake green grass along when we travel for her to know where to go. Here's her cage and her food and her water. Good girl. 
<laughs> yeah, um, we just uh, woke up from our nap and uh, it's very, very cold. I think I need to get my sweater or something. It's so cold. Very cold, yeah. And um, yeah. So, guys, here's where they stay. This is their compound. Here's our little car. I'm trying to think in terms of degrees how how cold it would be. You know, when you don't have winter for several years, you're not used to the cold. <laughs> They're playing with walkie-talkies two ways. So he's looking for his sibling, right? She hid from you? Oh, so there, this is the games they play. <laughs> they have the walkie talkies and they're trying to find each other. So anyway, um, when you don't have winter for several years, any cold feels terribly cold, but I'm guessing this cold would be probably higher fifties, something like that. Yeah, it's cold. So let's go have supper while well, this one gets his coat on that's a really warm jacket by the way yeah it is all right let's go so sterling i think he's the oldest of their boys and he flips cars so he just bought this one put a new engine in it and he's reselling it so that's something he enjoys doing <laughs> so here they have some hammocks and an outdoor eating space looks like a little library over here or a little book dungeon looks interesting <laughs> honey i'm just videoing if you want to bring happiness to the whole world, go home and love your family. Yeah, Amen. They have such a cute house, right? Yeah, after you. Okay. So he's making a fire here. That's so cool, having a fireplace in the house. And look at all these books they can store. It's amazing. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Uh, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this uh, evening. We thank you so much for this gathering and uh, for the warm welcoming uh, to this house. As right now we want to eat supper, Father, may you bless uh, each family here, protect us tonight and be with us. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Chapati, rice, beef stew, and then cabbage salad. Well, guys, we just got back to our little apartment here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage I got of tonight. I didn't want to um, make it feel like um, they're videoing their family, so I just did a few small shots here and there. I hope you enjoyed it. The look into and a night home, and tomorrow we're going to one of their churches here in Nakuru, so I'll bring you guys along for that as well, so stay tuned. In the meantime, look at this amazing light shade. It's huge, <laughs> like very huge, and I love it so much. It makes this space amazing. Anyway, that was very random. So um, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow morning and we'll go to church together. Next day.
Good morning, good morning guys. I almost forgot to start my vlog. <laughs> Um, I was already sitting in church and I decided to just come out here and film an intro for you guys. Um, we are still in Nakuru this morning and we are here at one of the Amish Mennonite churches in Nakuru. Um, I think they have probably about eight or ten churches here, maybe more. Um, so yeah, we're here today um, to worship with them. So enjoy the vlog. Today, say hi. Hi. 
Yeah. Anyway, I was saying before. He, he was in church. I was outside filming the intro. Anyway, we're going to see Lake Nakuru yeah. right now. Stranger, his love came and found me the same. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep, everything I need is found in you. All in you, everything I need is found in you. Found in <laughs> so guys, we are up here on a mountain, kind of a hill, it's a with, Mont, Mont, Mont with my husband, Wycliffe and Stennett, and we are looking at, in love. yeah, we are looking at <laughs> Lake Nakuru right here. Amazing view. Stennett brought us here. Thank you. Amazing guys. Just look at this. It reminds me of Switzerland. I don't know why. Probably doesn't look like it, but wow. And our little car made it up here. Hello. Yes. Yes. Welcome, welcome to our YouTube channel. It's a boy, Kore the Traveler, and I'm here in Nakorut town. All right, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has just taken over the vlog. Back to you, Sylvia, yesterday. Okay. <laughs> So guys, we are back at Luke and Jamila's place and we were just changing into a little bit more comfortable shoes and clothes and now we are heading over to one of their neighbors for lunch. So that's where we're heading to right now. Yeah, you can grab it. So we just arrived here. Honey, yes. are you ready to eat lunch? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm ready. Back. Wycliffe, you're carrying something. Do you even know what you're carrying? Oh, yummy. Sweet. I think they're cookies mm -hmm. to be baked. Or they are already baked. <laughs> what are you crying? I'm not. Corey just casually walking with a watermelon. <laughs> Do you know the people who <laughs> it's a nice house. Alive, alive. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive. Rice and beans, and some kind of amazing looking pulled chicken. Okay. You like that? Oh, I'm supposed to put it on top of each other. Oh, now I understand. I think it's kind of like chipotle, maybe. So first you put the rice, then the chicken. I don't know why I'm getting more. I think it's like a chipotle bowl. I think so. And then here they have sauteed peppers and onions. Salsa, 
fresh salsa. And this is probably ranch. Ranch dressing. And then we have sour cream. And guacamole. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. and watermelon and probably some kind of a tea so guys we are back from lunch and I got a nap Zuri ran around out here and got frightfully dirty so I just gave her a bath we loaded everything up and getting ready to head back to Kisuma right now thank you so much and I'm just packing up the last of my food stuff. But every Sunday here, Luke and Jamila have a children's um, group come and they spend time with them for about an hour, reading, coloring, giving them a snack. So Wycliffe is preaching or teaching them right now. So let's go check it out. And also men, Adam, commit sin. Sorry, story. Sorry, Sorry, story. Sorry, story. Sorry, story. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. I want you to change it now. It is not a. Eh, eh. Once upon a time. Uh huh. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Uh -huh. Once upon a time. Uh -huh. There was a little boy. There was a little boy who was dumped. He was dumped in a basket and placed in a given sea. And the child was just swinging around. And there are some good people who saw the child. Someone saw the child and sent some people. Can you go bring the child here? Who was this woman? Uh, do you know? Oh no. Can you clap for her? Can you clap for her? Hmm? Uh, can we clap for her? Who sent some people to go bring the child? Farao's wife. Can we clap? Are you sure? Are you sure? The princess. That is Farao's wife. Daughter. Was it for us wife or daughter? It was the daughter. Can we clap? And what was the name of the baby? What was the name of the baby? Story, story. Story, story. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. We were tired of suffering. We were tired of suffering. In the land of Egypt, we cried unto the Lord, and the Lord heard us. And there was a man who was willing to cross the sea with us. Where were we going? From Egypt. Where were we going? Oh, yes. The promised land. What was the name of the promised land? What was the name of the promised land? Can we shout? What was the name of the promised land? Once upon a time, in the promised land, we were promised that we will have food. What was the food there? Manna and what? And what? No, it was manna. There is this food that the little babies love. Sisi kama watoto wa Mungu tunapendana tunasaidiana si ndio si ndio tembea na Yesu 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 tembea na Yesu
another one goes like this. Another one goes like this. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. for